Hello guys! Today I will show you operation modes of Pierce Classic Combined Device in practice. This is 3-in-1 device, visible laser, infrared laser and infrared illuminator. I will especially focus on the topic of adjusting the brightness of infrared laser. We are now at our friends at Caliber Shooting Complex, thanks to them for their help in organizing the shooting. Let's see what I have on my rifle. This is SGS202S, Pierce Classic Combined Device is installed here, our users use it both without a remote switch and with a remote switch. It is convenient to operate without a remote switch, there is a power button on top, there is one on the back. For some people it is more comfortable with a remote switch, for example, I personally feel more comfortable with a remote switch. KVD2 switch is installed here. Pierce Classic is now in a tandem with Clash 1 flashlight, that is, two devices cover the entire required range. Visible laser, visible flashlight, infrared laser, infrared illuminator. There is also KVD3 slash 2P remote switch, with which you can control two products at the same time. I didn't do that now. It's more convenient for me when Clash 1 flashlight has a pistol rear part. And here you can also see a new product, Vzor 5 Red Dot. In the near future its review will appear on this channel. It's as well as its younger brothers, Vzor 5T and Vzor 5TK. But back to Pierce Classic. Let's start with Zero. So, we took Pierce Classic out of the box, installed it on a rifle, next you need to zero it. I will do this with a red dot. How to zero the red dot I showed it in a separate video, I will leave a link in the description. It is necessary to move the mark of the laser into the mark of the red dot. To do this we set the rifle in a stable position, you can use zeroing machine, I installed it on a tripod, you can ask a friend to hold it and tell you where to move, up, down, left, right, and then you need to rotate the adjustment units. I unscrew the caps of the adjustment units, the one on top moves the mark vertically, the one on the side moves it horizontally. We move the mark of the laser to the mark of the zeroed red dot. The visible laser is zeroed. It is important here that the infrared laser will be zeroed automatically, that is, it does not need to be adjusted separately. And after you have zeroed the visible laser, the infrared laser is automatically zeroed, you can adjust the infrared illuminator. There is a special screwdriver in the kit, there is a big one, and there is another smaller one, it is screwed into the body of the device. And you can move the spot of the infrared illuminator to the point of the infrared laser. Let's shoot with the visible laser. Pierce Classic Combined Device has brightness control in all operation modes. For this, for example, I turn on the green laser, you can adjust the brightness by the rotary wheel on the remote switch, you can adjust the brightness by the buttons located on the body. I suggest shooting. It is especially important to be able to adjust brightness in infrared modes. Let's turn off the light. A few minutes earlier, for demonstration purposes, we place small targets of various sizes on a black background to make it more visible in infrared mode. 
from left to right, from smallest to largest, respectively, diameters 29 mm, 58, 87, 100 and 52. I am at a distance of 10 meters from them. I turn on the infrared laser at maximum brightness and point it in the direction of the targets. Please note that the infrared laser beam gives full illumination of the smallest targets. As a result, it is difficult to accurately shoot aiming by infrared laser towards smallest targets. I will now lower the brightness. By lowering the power of the laser beam, you can see that I can perfectly observe the laser mark on smallest targets, which allows me to operate accurately on different target sizes. By the way, I just added an infrared illuminator with a diffuser on. When the diffuser is on, the light is diffused. When removed, the illuminator produces a light spot, which focus can be adjusted. So, different brightnesses for different tasks. We have considered and practiced the modes of operation of Pierce Classic version 4.0 combined device. Version 4.0 also has a quick release and several design updates that lowered its weight. You can see more information about Pierce Classic both with a red visible laser and with a green visible laser on our website en.zenitko.ru, as well on websites of official partners. The list of official partners is listed on en.zenitko.ru in Partners section. Press the like button if you liked the video, thanks for sharing it with your friends, ask your questions in comment section, and I'll see you soon. A review of Zor 5 Red Dot will be released soon. Goodbye!